All right, everybody, welcome back to the University of Radlands, our Radlands 101 Advanced Theory videos. Today, Advanced Theory is going to be about the camp Juggernaut, uh, another camp that is maybe not as straightforward as it seems, but a very powerful camp. And uh, we know it's pretty powerful because it uh, gives us zero cards to start our hand. So I'm going to read the card and we are going to go over um, this ability. So how Juggernaut works, it's a very unique camp. It is the only camp that will not uh, necessarily stay down here uh, with your other camps. Juggernaut can actually move forward and then back. So for one water, we pay for the ability. We move this card forward one space, people go behind, and on its third move, we return it to its starting position. Then the opponent destroys one of their camps. So like it says, uh, so for the first water, we can move it up one space. Next turn, pay another water, move it up the second space. Then the next turn, one more water, the third water cost, brings it back to the very start. When that happens, your opponent gets to pick what camp they want to destroy. Now, for your opponent, it isn't just a damage, it is a full destroy. So if they have a camp that's completely upright, they destroy it. If they have a camp that's already been hit once and they want to destroy that, they can destroy that. Now where Juggernaut can get a little confusing is how he interacts with people. This people goes behind, right? So normally when you play people, you play them in front of your camps to protect them. That way um, your opponent has to go through this card before they can reach this card. So that theory still happens with Juggernaut. You can play people in front of Juggernaut, but when you decide to use Juggernaut's ability, like it says here, people go behind. So say we played a Mimic here, and we want to move Juggernaut. This person then would go behind Juggernaut. Now, in my people video, I referred to a, a, a portion that said, um, you know, there's actually no rows here for people to go in. They can only go in front of camps. So you can play a person here and a person here. And I was going to get into a card that kind of makes that interaction seem a little confusing. So if we decided to play Mimic right here in this space, because we think we can move Juggernaut right here, that is wrong. Uh, that is not how that interaction works. As I mentioned in my uh, People video, whether you play a person here or a person here, there is still only one person uh, protecting your camp. So if you play Mimic up here and decide to move Juggernaut forward, Juggernaut would move forward, but Mimic moves behind. So in that person video, I mentioned that sometimes it's just best to play your first people here in the middle row. Now, if you decided to play another person above the Mimic, and then decided to move Juggernaut, then Mimic would move behind, and Juggernaut would move to the middle, still being protected. If you decided to move Juggernaut again, Rescue Team would move behind, and Juggernaut is now protecting these two cards and is exposed. Then we play Juggernaut one more time. Everything moves back up one to their original spot, and Juggernaut is there back at the beginning. So keep in mind, like I said, the, where Juggernaut can get confusing is uh, rows do, do not exist. If there's only one person in front of Juggernaut, no matter where you have them on the board in front of Juggernaut, as soon as you move Juggernaut up, that person moves behind. So if you're wanting to protect Juggernaut, there's a few things that you can do. You can either move Juggernaut first and then play your person in front of Juggernaut. You can play two people in front of Juggernaut, and then when you use Juggernaut's ability, move Juggernaut up to the middle. But if you just play one, for, one person in front of Juggernaut, uh, no matter where they're at, um, they're gonna move behind. So for an example, uh, let's say we want to put Molger's Stang behind our Juggernaut. If we 
play Mimic first because we're thinking we want to protect Mulgar Stain and then move the Juggernaut. Well, we have now moved the Mimic behind because she was the only person in front of Juggernaut protecting it. So as I mentioned before, there's a few different things you can do if you're wanting to protect people behind Juggernaut. Move Juggernaut first and then play your person or Play your person that you want to move behind Juggernaut first, and then move Juggernaut. Or play two people in front of Juggernaut, and then move Juggernaut. So a little bit of a confusing uh, interaction there, but kind of once you know what's going on, uh, the combos and interactions that you can use with Juggernaut can be, can be pretty powerful. Uh, so if you have any other questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, feel free to watch any of the other uh, theory videos or how-to videos on the channel. And as always, stay thirsty, punks.